SEM Rush can do a whole lot more than just drill down on a single competitor. They have a fantastic selection of data that pertain to keywords as a whole. So let's go on over to this top section, put in a keyword that we think is valuable. Let's just use cloud storage. Because you're not entering a URL, SEM Rush automatically detects that this is a keyword request. If you scroll down, you're going to see a whole bunch of great stuff. You're going to see other suggested keywords that include the keyword that you used. So first is obviously cloud storage, and it has the volume and the cost per click for that. But then we see, for example, Google Cloud Storage. That is a lot cheaper. If you want to buy an ad, you might very well consider, if you're already going to buy an ad on the term cloud storage, also buying an ad on Google Cloud Storage. You're probably going to get a very similar audience, and yet the term is going to be drastically cheaper to bid on. You can view a full report and get a whole bunch of other ideas. Related keywords is a similar section. It does not require that your phrase is actually in the suggested keywords, so you won't just be limiting yourself to those keywords that somewhere include cloud storage. You see here online storage is suggested, etc. If you scroll down, you're going to see what it looks like in the organic search results, which is what you see when you just Google the term. You're also going to see some great ad copy. So Dropbox, they're a cloud storage provider. They're bidding. No big surprise. But you can see exactly how they're trying to make their pitch with this ad copy. If you scroll down, you can see ad history, etc. But let's go back up because we're going to want to drill down on some of this. Let's do related keywords. That's going to include stuff that does match the phrase, but it won't have to. Here, this is sorted by the related percentage. So online storage is very similar to cloud storage, and that's why this is listed first. If you click on one of these keywords, let's just do online storage, you can see all of the great different people that are pitching their offerings. We have Carbonite, Dropbox, SugarSync, Microsoft Azure, etc. You can get a great window into how all of these people are competing. Let's go ahead and view a full report of all related keywords. This is going to give you so many keyword opportunities, you're going to have work to do for months. If you want to try to target content to these particular keywords, you're going to have a ton of ideas here. If we scroll down, we can sort by related percentage, but that's going to get us some not that great keywords. Uh, we see here which online storage only has a volume of 10 and a very high keyword difficulty, so it's not that great. Experiment with this with your niche. Some of the sorting options will be better for one niche versus another. Let's sort by volume. This is going to get us the highest volume, the most search terms that are within this list of related keywords. Okay, drive, cloud, cloud storage, even Dropbox free. These are all potentially very interesting targets. We also want to make good note of the keyword difficulty, which is how difficult it would be for us to compete over that, as well as the cost per click. If you just eyeball this, you'll see a ton of these very high volume terms are very difficult, but you can see some big discrepancies. Drive has a keyword difficulty of 85, but just a few spots down, Google Cloud Storage has a difficulty of 73. So right away, you're seeing that that's a lot easier to rank for, although still difficult. Scrolling some more, you see Box Store at 63. This gives you a great sense, depending on how authoritative your website is, over the best, highest search for, most expensive, if you were to buy ads on them, keywords to try to target. Once you've looked at a ton of related possible keywords, scroll up and let's click on Ads History. This gives you a ton of really valuable insights into the paid advertising that the competitors in this niche are running. It also sorts it by date. 
So let's go straight to the end and let's see what this recent 2018 ad from Microsoft is in this online storage keyword. Let's click the ad. Right away, we see exactly what they're doing here. We see the copy, we see the link, everything. If you go back, you see, okay, they iterated. In January 2018, they had a slightly different ad. For example, here in the January 2018 ad, they tried get a $200 free credit. Later, they say create your free account today. So they're experimenting. First they thought, or at least earlier they thought, that the $200 specificity would drive customers. Then they thought, let's be a little more ambiguous. Maybe that particular deal ended, but let's just say a free account today. By looking at the progress of their experimentation, you can find out what will likely work the best for you. If Microsoft or whoever else decided to run with an ad for months and months and months after a lot of experimentation, that is the green light for you to hopefully do the same. We can look at the same data for other competitors. Here's Dropbox. They've iterated a ton, etc., etc. A whole bunch of competitor data we can look at. We also see the traffic, the price, and the keywords. There is a ton of great people working on fantastic copy, fantastic keywords, and getting a ton of money. This lets you see exactly what they're being paid to do, all with SEMrush. For more keyword insights, we can explore their new keyword magic tool. There's a little how it works section, but we can just use our online storage. I think the plus is fine. I'm just going to take that out. Do search. We're doing US only. And here we have a really nicely organized list of keywords, sections. So for example, uh, we only want to see the stuff that includes free. So variations of free cloud storage. We can click that. Free online storage, free online photo storage, etc. We can see only the stuff with photos or auction or pay or India. This helps us narrow down common categories of keywords within our keyword. Scroll down, you see a ton of data. You can sort this. You can say of the things that are free, let's sort by keyword difficulty. Let's do that. The first result obviously is a very difficult keyword to rank for for free. But as we go down the list, we see not everything is so difficult. Okay, free online storage shed plans. I don't know exactly what the shed refers to, and not that many people search for it, only 20. But if that means something to you and to your audience, that's a lot easier to rank for than the top one. There's also a rank tracker. So if you want to monitor how well your website is doing in the search results for particular terms, Let's say you made a piece of content covering free cloud storage, and you want to see, well, where does Google think that this should be in the results? Day to day, month to month, etc. You can enter your domain right here and get a play by play of the progress that you're making in these search results. All in all, SEMrush is a fantastic tool. It's going to hopefully save you a ton of time a ton of money, a ton of heartache, trying different ad copy that didn't work for your competitors, so probably wouldn't work for you, etc. I think it's great, and I hope you enjoy integrating it into your own workflow.